of Matt Fondue did no research about the game he's playing. We're gonna be playing Hatchful Boyfriend, a game where you date pigeons, I assume. Uh, I thought it would be fun to play another visual novel game. And, um, this one involves hyper-realistic birds. Let's just start, let's just start the game. We're just gonna send it. <clears throat> Welcome to Saint... <laughs> Welcome to Saint Pigeon Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Oh, uh, we could have a... We could have the generic name. Uh, I mean, I had Matt Von Dude as the previous name before, and it was kind of like... Whatever, let's let's just be the let's be Matt Fond dude again from Doki Do Oh, never mind, Matt Fond. What if our name is Bird Birdman? Hmm. Let's, let's be John Let's be John I can't even be John Bird. Let's, let's be John Let's just be John. I don't know. John Bird? Why do I do this to myself? Oh god. Let's be, uh, this, this is the, this is the most challenging bit of any games, thinking of the name. Let's be, uh, honestly. I wish it could be John Bird. I mean, it could be one word, John Bird. Hmm. Bird. Man, Birdman. Birdman. Yep, that's me, I'm Jonathan Birdman. Oh, you have a last name. Should I just be the generic? Do I, do I like, do I run it back so hard? Alright, we're running, sorry, we have to, we're closing the game, we're running it back so hard. Oh man, why do the game, I, like, I don't understand why I, ha I derive so much, I derive so much stress and anxiety from naming a character in a video game. We might just go with the generic name, just just to like ease my soul. Sorry, right, we're rebooting. There we go. Hi, welcome to the game for real. Let's let's just be uh, Hayoko, Osaka, whatever. That's a, that's our name. Is that okay? Hayoko Tosaka. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, it's not. You no, know, it's not okay. I'm running it back again. Our name. Oh my god. Our name is John Bird. Is John Bird okay? Hell yeah. Yes. Powerful boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Disgusting. Display human portraits. Honestly, I, I would say no. I want to. I want to say no. To be honest, when they first appear, I want to say no. But I feel like, you know what? Screw it. I, I came here for the birds. I don't want disgusting, horrible human anime characters. Saint Pigeonations, a school blessed with intensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, sciences, and even sports all come to Saint Pigeonations. I probably will do the uh, the same voices basically I did in uh, Doki Doki. <clears throat> Let's get in the zone. The teaching staff and student body are made up, or both made up of the diverse blend of birds and different of different backgrounds and species. Oh, we're already struggling. I am often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. I just got it like that, okay? It's a long story. It all started when I opened up my DeviantArt account. <clears throat> not not every day I see you rushing along. I don't know how to voice this character. Alright. <laughs> it's Ryuta. <laughs> Someone can let me know if I'm saying the names wrong. <laughs> Let's see what's a good voice for this guy. You'd Usually you'd have been ready an hour ago now, John. Alright, that's what we're going for for now. We'll, we'll get the vibe. <laughs> Overslept? 
Oh, I feel immediately- It's Ryuta Kaw- Kawa- Oh my god. It's Ryu- Ryuta Kawara. Japanese names are hard. This- This rock dove is named Kawa- oh, Kawara Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely- ha Oh god, it's my childhood friend. He must- He can be a little mischievous, but he's- re He's responsible and kind. Give him the, the man-dark voice. <clears throat> Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax with that red meat inside. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be our weird Sonic hybrid voice man. For, for, our, for John Bird. <clears throat> living, living, living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. <laughs> I may take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta, you stinky, gross... Wait a minute. We can't start that again with our childhood friend. Remember the last time we said someone smelled bad? Uh, it didn't end well. <clears throat> oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. <laughs> okay, jeepers. Not good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along with his horrible, mangled, disgusting beak into school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. What kind of bird-brained antics are we be up to? The most splendid and greatest acad academy of, of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon. Term number one. <clears throat> I think, I, I think we're in 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Cheers to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher here is here. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'm, I'm gonna, like, run out of, like, good voices, like, immediately. Good evening, everybody. Er, Nanaki... Nanaki... Kaz... Oh, my... Why do they do this to me? Nanaki... Kazuki... Kaz... Kazuhaki. I... Let's, let's, let's break it down. Is it... It's... Nanaki... Kazuaki. I assume Kazu... Oh, my God. Why would they do this to me, Japan voice? <laughs> I seem to be your teacher- oh, wait, he's, a, he's the narrator again. <clears throat> I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. I don't know if that voice is too close to uh, the narrator voice. Well, we'll feel it out. He also says- he says Z Z Z Z. Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. <laughs> he sleeps with his eyes open. Oh my god, the voices. It's Kazuyaki. This quail is Nanaki. Nanaki Kazuyaki. Oh my god, I hate you, game. He's a famously sophomoric math professor. I'd heard rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show you, show, great minds come in all forms. <laughs> All right, let's 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 really let's really workshop the voice for a second here. Hmm. What, what, he's like he's a professor who sleeps. Oh, maybe he's like a yawny guy. He's like, oh, so sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? That's pretty awful. Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragane. It's probably Shiragane, right? Shiragane. Again. Uh, who knows? Sakuya. <laughs> What's the point? What? Oh, this is. Oh god. All right. Uh, they're really just blasting me with these voices. What's th What's the point? I I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh well. I guess that's that. Well, it's even harder because all the birds are looking very similar, to be honest. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. <laughs> but we can't just... Oh, God. 
But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. It's me, John Bird. The system will collapse. It will all turn into... Kulaks and dis Kulaks and dissent dissenters. Oh, God. <laughs> well, well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name? Shiro... Shir it's Shirogane, right? That's Japan. Johanny. Oh, my God. I'm Shirogane LaBelle Sakuya. Someone, please, I need someone in the chat to just tell me that I'm saying the names wrong. <clears throat> it it seems this fan tale is Sh Shirogane Sakuya, allegedly. His feathers would be make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, and he smells like beef. But then, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? <laughs> Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. I've had my comedy books. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Well, any birdie, it, it kind of does soul damage to me every time I have to say, I have to say it. <clears throat> huh? Is someone looking at me? <laughs> Probably just my imagination. Or not, a morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my dir- I mean, in my dir- I mean, in my dir- in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan. But apparently they're everywhere in America. It's, it's the American transfer student. <laughs> um, did you want something from me? Money. He looked away. Let's see what- I don't know what the vibe is yet. Not really. Maybe this voice? I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything from you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, HURRY UP, and return them already. <laughs> oh, here we go, our first, uh, witch laugh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I laughed like a witch. I laughed into his eye, witchily. They were a little too... <laughs> they are a little too dense, <laughs> like my brain, and I never finished them. <laughs> were you waiting for them all summer? I do kind of like the idea that every single game I play like this, the, the main character is the same guy just transferring schools constantly because of all the havoc he's caused. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm Bird John. Or John Bird, I don't know. I, I'm Bird John, a sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nage so this is Nageki? Nageki. I Fujishiro. Ne ne Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. He's a freshman bird. He's cash money excellent poggers. His, his coat, his plumage is unmatched. Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove. A morning as in sad. But he seems a little sad. He's the, uh, he's the, uh, Yuri of, of doves. Is it, was it Yuri? Well, I already forget the characters in Doki Doki Literature Club. That's sad of me. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again, bookily. <laughs> okay, sorry to bother you, trips on shoes, falls over, knocks over all the bookcases, crushes the bird into a million pieces. <laughs> Oops. I kept, I keep meeting depressing people today. What a good quote. What a good quote. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh my god. <laughs> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. I kind of forget his voice. Is this, and this is a new guy, right? Yuya? Who the hell is this guy? Time to get that Berdusi. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Cabbage? We're, we're, we're feeling out the voices right now. I'm like... I'm, oh yeah, I'm feeling out the voices. <clears throat> Come on, Sakuya. I think, wait, who's even talking? 
Oh, this is his brother. Okay, this is this is the fancy bird's brother. So he's also like fancy-ish. He's like, come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. <laughs> oh God, please don't talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. I don't know who is talking. <laughs> yeah, here's hoping this doesn't end like the other visual dating novel. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> hey, that's just... Oh, God. Uh, that's a little hard. It's hard to get a read on these two characters. They're kind of... <laughs> I, guess, I guess even we're in the same school now. What's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazuki, Sakazaki Yuya. Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? Nani? <laughs> Avoid say Seiya Birdie. Yeah, we already have a childhood friend who already is emitting an odor. An odorous aura. Uh, <laughs> there are stink lines emitting already from our childhood friend. I wonder what the story behind that is. And then Yuya. Alright, we need a we need a good Yuya voice. It's like he's like he's kinda like pompousy too, so it's like Hey, hey. But I, I the narrator voice is already kinda pompousy. I could go like I or maybe he just talks like maybe he's like really stu I don't know. We'll think about it. We can always do this voice for someone. That's a good voice for him. Like, hey. And John says exclamation point. I'm John Bird, by the way. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you friend of Sakuya's? Is that British? It's British, but it's the British bird. Oh, it's only it's this one. I talk like this. I don't know. I can. Let me write them. There's a lot of voices. Maybe we should diversify our voices. Well, there's a bird that talks like me. What if there's a meat wad? I mean, there is a round bird from the cover. Maybe that's the meat wad bird, and I just ruined my voice. He'll talk like this, and no one can understand what I'm saying, though. And he'll talk like that the whole time. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to l l l listen to you. <clears throat> He's <laughs> you. You'll be uh, okay. <laughs> no sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little lady. I'm a I'm a lady named John Bird. I didn't know that. <laughs> but that there wasn't too cool. All right, we found out that I'm a lady. <laughs> it's good to know. Uh, this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. John John Bird is gender neutral, I guess. Yeah. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. He's cash money excellent poggers. You're John, right? <laughs> Maybe I need to get more pomp. Maybe I need to be more pompousy. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I know everybody here. All right, we found the voice. It's th that voice for Yuya and the other guy. They're both gonna have this voice. <laughs> Besides, you're the only human, a single puppy in a field of rye. Did you say you're friends of Sakuria's? Not exactly, but we had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I've never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually, the genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain in the cloaca, so to speak. Uh, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Apparently, I'm French. <clears throat> he he really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably twisty business. <laughs> oh my! That really is the voice. <laughs> Ugh, this is tired, man. He's like, that's all for today. Stay home, ever. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> John says, hey. Huh? Sir, sir, where's Ryuta, my childhood friend who smells bad? <clears throat> it's just the same. It's just, I feel like it's like, oh shit, here we go again. 
Uh, he said he was uh, going to the infirmary. Maybe you should uh, see if he's still there. Now that I now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach from eating all that lead paint. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's a-okay. <laughs> For you to just has chronic bird flu. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I sure hope Ryuta isn't fucking dead. I also hope he's not dead. Nobody's here? I oh, My game alt tab. <laughs> no birdie. No birdie's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtain. And the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. No reply, the infirmary is empty. Like my, my head, my brain. Weird. Did he go home already? Oh my god. I swear to god, if I pull up another game and now it's just like one second later, someone's just dead, I'm done. I'm turning it off. <laughs> I came here for feel-good pigeon vibes. No, I'm not a bird. I'm the only human, apparently, girl. I'm the only human at the school. I'm not a bird. I have hunter-gatherer instincts. Oh, man. It's really looking like a... I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. But I do a little backflip and then say, I'm just dabbing on the haters. And then I, I dab on the haters. I then steal all of the Oxycontin stored behind in the shelf and chug it rapidly. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much, much before, unlike Ryuta. I'm perfectly healthy. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> wow. Uh, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> uh, they got Lucio Benzene. They got eth Ethanopar, Trifi. I wonder what these do. I should take them all at once. Care to find out who says, who's saying this? Oh, here it is. Here comes that boy, Rotund Man. Doctor. Alright, what's a good, what's a good, I mean, I don't want, I don't think I want to do meat wad for the doctor. He could be, a, I need a big lad girthy voice. He could be the hey, boss kind of guy. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm the doctor bird. That's how I talk. I mean, that could work. Let's see what he says. Let's see. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. No, nah, this guy's kind of, this guy's, I don't know if that's the voice. He's kind of like, he's kind of like pervy. Maybe he's like, oh, you all. maybe, maybe some like throat, guttural throat. Now nah, he's creepy. He's like, I'll oh, feed you all sorts of things if you want. No, thank you. I'll figure it out. We'll figure, we'll get there. <laughs> this partridge, this partridge is a wamai, a wamane. Shoe. It's Shoe, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person, has a bad reputation among the student body. Wait, I'm using the wrong voice. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with, uh, uh other things. And never even, uh, and I never even heard him come through the door. Ninja doctor? Why is this music so loud? <laughs> I don't, don't have, I mean, meat wad voice. Yeah, he's known for abusing the student body, indeed. Oh, wait, he could be the, I, he could be, uh... He could be I forgot the pickles voice. He's like, you don't have, you don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Did you need something? You forgot the pickles. There we go. That's the voice. The bubble, uh, the, yeah, that's the idea. What's the bubble, bubble bass. I can't wait to forget all these voices for the next session. Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara, Kaw oh, oh my god, from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's- he, he's already gone. Oh! Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Just- you forgot the pickles voice. Perfect. We did it. Ah! Alright. <clears throat> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? He went home, looking suspiciously absent, smiling. I wonder what's up with that. Oh, I never got around to joining- Oh, no. A, a club this year. I, just, I don't want to join- a, uh, I, Hopefully not a literature club. No, 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 no. No, no clubs. No clubs. Just go home. 
Just stay home and go home and lock the door. Just stay home. Don't do anything. Oh, God. Bird watch. All right. I got to join the bird watching club for sure. I think there's clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching birds hop around. I mean, fair, that does sound kind of fun, actually. I think they're- Oh, God. We'll, we'll decide. I think there- <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Obvious reference. Oh, it could be, yeah. I don't know if it is. I think their club is on the ground floor, off to the side. Can I save? Let's make a save real quick. <clears throat> a white dove is having a tantrum outside. San, oh god, or San, probably. He says, Cool! Cool! Is he just gonna talk in coos? Oh no. <laughs> This is no- this is no- wait, this is no pudding for a man. Alright, we need- we need more. He- he says a lot of coups. He's just like, coo. Okisan, Okisan, Okisan rejects it. It was a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Is it me or is this awfully Doki-like? It is Doki-like, but I think it's wholesome. I don't think- I don't think anyone's gonna get murdered, I hope. This is Oki-san. Or Oko-san. Oko-san? Right, that sounds right, right? Oko-san. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I- I think. Either way, he's hyper. He says, Coo! Okusan has stuffed a decep. What? Oh, okay. Wait. I'll just do. I'll just coo for him and then do narrator voice. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okusan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. <laughs> yeah, brain rot moment. <laughs> betrayal. House on the hill. The board game. Coo. Okusan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coo. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, be betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo. Spare the jest, young lady John Bird. Oko-san used wing attack and bitch slapped me upside the head, real cash money excellence style. It's super effective. Cool. They'll rue the day they crossed Oko-san. He'll have them flayed, hanged, and shot at dawn, he will. Alright, I like him the most so far. He's our- he's our- he's our option. He's our romantic interest so far, Oko-san. For sure. Domestic violence expert. <laughs> what is- what is a pudding? A miserable little pile of sweets? But enough talk, have at you! We're gonna be, uh, one of the games, we're gonna be playing, uh, that for the podcast at some point. That's what, that's on the list, uh, Symphony of the Night. <clears throat> because James, my co-host, has been, never played it. Which is insane. Cool. Oko-san must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. Based. And he's gone. He's a good runner. But what does pudding have to do with the track team? All right, looks like we might be joining track, boys. We'll see. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Giga, yeah, Giga Chad. Uh, I think this is the teacher, right? Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want, you can, but... If you don't, then you feel free to go home after school. Cool. Oko-san has time only for the track team! Literal, the, literally Giga Chad. <laughs> That's good. What about you, Shiragane? I think it's Shiragane, right? I have no confidence in my name pronunciation. A foolish question. I've already held a position here. 
Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. <laughs> Nepotism ho! Don't we get a vote? Uh, and he was like Mandark. He's like, just coming to school is enough for me. Uh, you you don't have to you have to take care of your mother on, on your own and all. I wonder what what I should do. Join the. Oh, I have a choice. Oh no, I'm not used to having user choices that matter. Join the student council. I mean the track team. I'm gonna probably join. I mean the library. We could talk to sad American boy. Uh, we could talk to Pompous Man. I mean, obviously we're joining the track team. It's not even an option. Plus, I was thinking, honestly, even before we met, uh, Oku, the, the absolute Chad man, uh, I was thinking about joining track anyway. <clears throat> That's it. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Yeah. I refuse to have fun. Oh wow, I actually have a lot of choice stats. Oh, I'm not used to having a video game. <laughs> Today's an elective day, what should I do? Attend? Oh god, we actually like, our saves might actually matter. Hmm, G math class? Gym class? Music class? Um, music class sounds kind of fun. But Jim, I mean, if we're on the track team, we should probably go to Jim, right? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's not mix it up. Let's get it. Let's not get it twisted. Let's head. Let's go to Jim. Let's get these gains. I had to sit. I had to sit out the wing training, but it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Yeah, about that, Chief. I guess that's why your wisdom is one. I'm the only human at a school for pigeons. Uh huh. John leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Oh man. My vitality is up. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okosan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Ooh. A John appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. A fit he is having, though not over pudding. <laughs> not really, I just want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Koo, he stands before you, Okusan. Okusan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. <clears throat> oh, well, here. My forms. Thank you. Cool. A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. <laughs> There's an exam? Cool, of course. Track isn't daisy chain making, Missy. Cool. Okosan will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I think we can beat him in the sprint. I think we, I think we can beat him. I mean, wait, wait a minute. All right, what do you guys think? Cause like, I feel like we're, we're pretty fast. He, well, he says he was the fastest, but we might have more endurance than him. Uh, I don't know if I want to challenge him in the sprint. I think, I think I might just send it. We're sending it. Just, we're sprinting. Hmm, a sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. Oh, your 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 comment was too late. Hoo hoo! On your mark, get set, go. How is he? How is he so fast? He can't. I can't even fly this fast. Oh man. Hoo! <gasps> you're still weak, but you have potential. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Thanks. Coo. And that's all, folks. And so, I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Yeah, who knew? <laughs> what? I live in a cave? Uh, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing in my giant comedy cave. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. 
Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to... Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep in my cave that I live in. Weird. That's weird, right? Is that not weird to anyone else? Okay, let's just move on. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... I mean, uh, we got Ryuto, we got Sakuya, we got all the people. I mean, we can talk to San. Where else is a single human supposed to live, silly? Yeah, we're talking San. We got the San Undertale run. I wonder where Okusan went. Okusan went. I guess it's San, right? Not San. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Coo coo! It's it's not here. The pudding is not here. Ah, uh, uh. it's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Coo! No, Okosan. Okosan ne believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there some? Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? <laughs> Coo! Okosan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. Perhaps we can have some pudding in my weird human cave. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Yeah, guys, I don't know the 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 sun route or whatever. It's kind of silly. It's kind it's kind it's not really grounded in reality. It's a little it's a little extra. I don't know. This game is kind of this game has been pretty grounded so far. I think it's a little too silly for the run. I think it's just, it's like, you know, pushing the envelope. They jumped the shark with that one. <clears throat> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Music. I'm, dude, I'm gonna get those gains. We're gonna get to the gym. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the, the gains of a century. It's too hot. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Cool. It's rehydration. It's rehydration time. Oko-san wants to go swimming. Uh-huh. <laughs> John leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Zero wisdom, all vitality. Uh, I imagine... I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Are all are all visual novel games like this exact formula of this type? I mean, the the two I have played are both subversions on the on the the genre, so I assume they all lead into the tropes because they're subversive anyway. But are a lot of them just like this, like archetypes and stuff? Oh man. <clears throat> Uh, oh, it's, it's our childhood friend. If I were in a fall, if it were in fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. <laughs> what, what are you going to do, R Ryuta? I haven't decided yet, but probably the three-legged race. Some Bernie has to. <laughs> imagine, imagine the stench that would emit off of our childhood friend if you had to do the three-legged race with him. <clears throat> Recycle jokes, Pog? Okusan, Okusan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You, you do have a lot of stamina, Okusan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some kind of race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? I guess I think that was. Uh, uh how about being a cheerleader? The, uh, the general, in other words, very well. Leave it to me. Oh, wait. The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... <laughs> also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. And that's all, folks. Ryuta's doing the three-legged race. Oko-san's running the marathon, and Sakuya, Sakuya is a cheerleader. Yuya, 
I think it's like you you Uya Uya Yo Uya. It's probably like Yo Uya might be running the first and first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Well, do we have to think? Dude, we're gonna hang out with our guy. We're gonna we're gonna tunnel vision one bird, and never hang out with anyone else. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the marathon because we were training, dude. Oh wow, go to the library and hang out with the sad boy bird. Uh, join the cheerleaders marathon, three-legged race. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do the marathon. Why not? Ooh, you're running the marathon too, John. <laughs> yep, someone needs to act as a female representative. G good luck, Okasan. Goo goo. Never worry, never fear. Okosan never brings up the rear. <laughs> well, I sure. <laughs> well, there's always a first time for everything, Okosan. Oh man, never trust, never trust a man who is afraid to go up the rear. That's that's my motto. <clears throat> uh, swift as the wind, as usual. I think he came in first, but I can't see from here. I'd better do my best too. Oh man, dude, my my guy is like uh, moving at 100 miles an hour on his bird feet, on his twig-like bird legs. Oh man. Uh, the first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm not gonna be able to pass. We're getting them back today. Ah, I don't think I did too well, cause my brain is full of mashed potatoes. Bird? <laughs> yes? Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too... Mm, no, no, you did, you did badly. No! No! Try harder next time, okay? I've disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. I should probably study now. I, I've just been focusing on gains. But I'm I'm very stupid. I'd better hurry back. You know what? Actually, brain brain is for brain food is bad. I'm gonna just do the we're gonna do the um the dumb the dumbest route possible. We need to learn the least amount of knowledge. I'd better hurry back to class. Hello, every but. Wait, hello, every but. Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryuta is overturned next. Oh no. Oh no. Rock doves' underwings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? On, uh, our character says like the crazy frog intro. Ok Okosan and Sakuya are. I look up to see two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. <laughs> what happened, R Ryuta? Sakuya was making fun of Okosan. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, Hokusan is a nutcase and smells bad and is a bad person and tried to kill me that one time and karate chopped me in the tooth and broke my spinal cord and beat me in the race and hit me with his car. But that's no reason to not like someone. And he really does like pudding. mm <clears throat> Either either way, oh god, either way, Okosan kind of went for the jugular, and <laughs> you tried to you tried to pull them apart, and Okosan used wing attack on you. Yep, you're our only hope now, John. <laughs> and then he died. He just had like a horrible horrible stroke and died. <laughs> coo coo. Okosan will not allow pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. <clears throat> you tell me to take back my word. I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Who? Okusan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryuta's sacrifice was in vain. I should judo flip. Scold them both. I will side with Okusan because Sakuya kind of sucks. 
Sakuya. Sakuya. That wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know Okusan is talking about doesn't know just because you don't know what they're talking about doesn't mean you can start slurring him. Oh my god. <laughs> you are you siding with the mongrel rebel? Aren't you supposed to be a human? Whoa. Okay. Did he just? Okay. Did he just? Uh, spe is he being specious right now? Because that's pretty messed up. Coo coo. Okosan is resolved. Okosan will end this now. He drops. Oh my god. He drops. He, Shorty drops low. Uh, he drops low and prepares to strike with all his might. Coo. And then he does. He goes. Coo. Giga. Drill. Beak. Oh my god. He just murdered him. Ah. Okosan crashes into Sakuya with a spinning body slam. Sakuya goes flying out into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. Hell yeah. That must have hurt. Oko-san is, is a match for any aristocrat. Hell yeah. Dude, he's the best. Oko-san is a match for the mighty giants themselves. He puffs off his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangsta pigeon. Wait, class is about to start. Okosan. Okosan, come back! Break is over! Alright, so yeah, we picked- we, we backed the right pigeon. That's all I'm saying. Dude, he's just body slamming people. We backed the right bird. Oh, man. Mmm. Today is a good day. I feel like sh I'm shining. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Uh, please enjoy this delicious Twitch ad while I'm beer -bee. What if, what if a bird looked at you directly and he said, bah! And then you looked at the bird and you said, I do not understand you, for I am a human and you are a bird. And our relations will never be, will never be true, since I cannot understand a single word you're saying. That would be truly a nightmare. But we don't have to worry about that, because we can speak bird. Now let's continue. With that aside aside, let's continue. I wonder what I should do during break. Should I learn and improve myself? Or should I get those sick gains so I can RKO my friends out of nowhere? The infirmary, the store, cafeteria, I mean food. The store sounds kind of cool. I want to go to the cafeteria for food, but the st I'm interested in seeing what the store has to offer me. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Like machine guns and pencils. Uh, though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Mona. Wait, is this, uh. This might be the, the fancy other bird. Mona, me planning to settle down already? <laughs> Just, what a voice. Yo, yeah. You, uh, you, uh, yeah, I think this is the- Oh, my voice. No, that's not it. I'm still high school- I'm still a high school student. I think this guy is- Oh, no. I think this guy is the, uh... I mean, this is the one, the guys who were also voicing, like, That may be so. But he is doing- He's kind of like a weird French dude. He's like, It may be so, but... You know, he does reach sexual- I don't, That's, like, the worst French voice ever. It's like 15 different accents. Within a year of birth! I, I think I kind of- I'm digging it. It's better than having the same voice for two people. Let's go for it. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. 
<laughs> they do? That seems a little hasty. <laughs> that aside, what are you do what are you here to buy, you you ya? <laughs> Your love, of course! This is the worst voice I've ever done for any character. <laughs> my ah, uh, my lo <laughs> you, 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 we're not. I'm not good enough. Oh well, I'll try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Yeah, I think it's a little rude, Chief. <laughs> I think that's a little rude, you. I want to call him Yuya, but I think it's a Yuya or something. Because there's another Yu. Yuya. <laughs> what is? Oh, the Discord server. Oh, hi. Yeah. You want to join in? Do you want to join in my uh my pigeons? Oh God. What's up, Luke? You're on stream. That. Yeah. Ah, mon ami. For your dinner, I'm just doing Lumiere. Uh, so I've just been sitting in an uh, for the chat. I've been sitting in an empty Discord server, uh, narrating pigeons. All right. Well, if if you're not yeah. if you're not, if you're not gonna join in, I will uh, I will I'll leave for now. I will leave you to your pigeon boyfriends. Okay. That's Peace. <clears throat> Oh god. That sort of loose- okay. <laughs> that- That sort of loose talk like I'm a game or something. You know that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. <laughs> Is this voice okay to do? Oh my god. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Thank you, mon ami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. <laughs> It's the worst voice ever. It's like I'm trying to be like Lumiere or whatever from like Beauty and the Beast. It's just like the not a non-confident French voice. It's so bad. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Hit gains. We're gonna hit the Church of Iron. We gotta get those gains, dude. Today is calisthenics. Today is calisthenics. <laughs> Ryuta, Ryuta, if you're in high school and you still can't do a chin-up, you dumb basic bird-ass bitch. Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. <laughs> Hell, Ryuta, you son of a son of a gun. John leveled up. Vitality increased by five. I have a staggering amount of vitality. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too, I think. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's- there- there are- what? There are- Wow, there are lots of are here already, any- any birdie I know. Can you hear- wait, this is a- you- you uh, whatever, so this is like- Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is probably <laughs> this is probably San. With the just <laughs> random like goo everywhere. Beautiful. Oh no, wait, this is my own. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Become a famous artist. Conquer the world by force. Every day of the week. <laughs> I wish to crush my op I wish I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Cause is this the teacher? Oh hello, is that you, Bird? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out here this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you home to your place? Um, no. No, no. No, I will literally like DDT anyone who comes up to me. I have like the- I have the muscle math- math- I have the muscle mass of a small barge. I- I think I can handle myself. <clears throat> no thanks, I still have errands to run. Oh, well don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Key Mania IIDX public playtest starting today? Maybe I should stop by the arcade. Of course. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. 
We're going back to gym, boys. <laughs> Gotta get those gains. A rock dove is wiggling about the surface of the water, advancing neither forward nor backwards. You, you can't swim, Ryuta. What can you do? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Why does your childhood friend character in these games always just suck at everything they do? They just are like so incompetent. John leveled up. Vitality increased. They just can't do anything. Today is swim class. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart go doki doki. Coo coo. John is a human. Can you still- wait, John is a human. Can you still swim? I, uh, I kind of wanted to like change up his voice a little bit to like the weird alien voice kind of thing. But I mean, narrator voice, he kind of is just narrating. So I think narrator makes sense. <laughs> yep. Okosan challenges you to a race then. Okosan has never swum against a humanoid, a, human a hominid. <laughs> so you're fast in the water as well as on land? <laughs> Naturally, Okosan is the fastest in all things. All right, then let's go. Get set, go. <laughs> Okosan is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has even stopped ringing in my ears. Th th that's not swimming. Hoo hoo, Okosan is victorious. You are slow, John. And so I learned that I would need to redefine my very concept of swimming before hoping to defeat Okosan. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Bird, I um, no way. I'm like failing out of school. <laughs> bird, bird, sir, you uh, didn't do too badly, I think. Yes, you. N never mind. You did. You did very, very badly. Uh, you you didn't even write your name correctly on the sheet. Quite frankly, uh, you somehow you turned in the wrong sheet. You, you didn't even turn in the homework, you just turned in a blank piece of paper with coffee stains on it. I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on, like that's ever gonna happen. I gotta study these gains at the gym. Let's make a save here. I'm making a save, yet I, I'm, I'm decisive, I'm not gonna go back. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed... Long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club r club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. Much, 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 much. Okosan looks excited. Not angry. F not like he's not an angry bird. Not angry for once, but still, this is. Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in be- <laughs> The floor is covered in beans! Much, 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 much. <laughs> They're good. It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Obviously join in. Start eating beans off the floor. Join- Yeah, join in. Obviously join in. Eat- start, Just start pecking- Eating all the beans off the ground. Hey, these beans are pretty good. They look pretty good. Much, 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 much. Yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day, and I later had to go to the hospital. We just started, just raw, straight up raw eating beans off the sidewalk. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so uh, maybe I'll go running today. I mean, all we've done is exercised. We haven't even, like, fed ourselves besides the floor beans we lapped up with the dirt. Oh my- wait, is this the fall of humanity? We're in, like, a post-apocalypse? That's why we're living in a cave? Alright, there is some sort of post-apocalyptic element going on here. Huh, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once a runner's high kicks in. I'm runner's high on crack. Where am I? 
I must have wandered out of my usual stomping grounds at some point. Which way did I come from? Where did I come from? Where did I go? The Cotton Eye Joe conundrum. <laughs> Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting, I'd rather not sleep outside. I'd rather sleep inside my outside cave. Hey, you, who is it? Is it... Question? Who the hell is this guy? Uh... <laughs> I don't know you! Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up to my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Okay, she's like badass. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away the sparrow is emitting an, imit an, Im an intimidating aura. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way he from here? You must be good. I I'm trying to think of a good voice. You must be good. It's about two hours drive from here. What? I guess that's why- I guess that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your- uh, Anyone that- that determined deserves a ride home, come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I- I think. Th thank you, may I ask your name? It's Koshiba Az Azumi. <laughs> I sell takoyaki, hell yeah! Call me Azumi. Thank you, Azumi. Alright, Takiyaki girl, kinda pog. <laughs> you're a very cautious- you're a very- you're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One ancient is all it would take, and that would be the end. One- oh, uh, okay, one accident. I thought it was one ancient, like there's some sort of ancient beings that wander around this post-apocalyptic hellscape. Now, one accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Oh, there was a far-off look in her eyes. Damn, tragic backstory. I'm sure you know uh, what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get hit there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. <laughs> Isn't, like, riding tandem against the law, too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two or more uh, doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. Fair enough. But, but I'm not a bird. And so we putted along on Azumi's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Alright. Pretty pog. I have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I, uh, when I have the chance or whatever. I'll... Alright. I think we'll take a break here from boyfriend uh, dating game. Um, that was pretty cool. I think I want to play... Uh, I think that's a lot of talking. It's a lot of voice talking. Alright, let's mix it up. Uh, so, I want to play this this racing game called Zeepkeist now. 